Welcome to Jamaica, man. We are so excited to showcase the beautiful Sandals Royal Caribbean here in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Let's go check it out. So where will we go today? Meet me out among the endless possibilities. Will I fall the clouds away? I know someday we'll have to stay. Where will we go today? Sandals Royal Caribbean is located in the heart of Montego Bay, less than 10 minutes from Sangster International Airport. Let's start by taking a look at the map. When you arrive, you will be dropped off in the main building, where you will be greeted. If you are not concierge or butler, you will remain in the main lobby and check in at the front desk. If you are concierge or butler, you will be escorted up to the concierge lounge, where you are greeted with a complimentary beverage. They will check you in from the lounge and someone will escort you to your room. Please note that being concierge is a great perk and these people are here to help you throughout your entire stay. They will help with excursions or dinner reservations or whatever you might need while you're on property. An island routes desk is in the main building and this is where all of your excursions booked through Sandals will be handled. Entering the courtyard area, you will see the sandal stage where evening entertainment occurs in a casual, relaxed atmosphere. There are several different types of shows each evening. The Red Lane Spa is where you can get a massage, facial, or any treatment you'd like. You can also work out in the huge fitness center with state-of-the-art equipment. The wedding lounge is where you would go if you're planning a wedding at this resort. The resort shop is for clothing, branded items, and items you may have forgotten such as sunscreen, medicine, or anything else. The main pool is located just outside the main building. This is where any major pool entertainment would occur. Some days you may see a DJ, pool games or trivia, volleyball, and sometimes there's even some evening parties in this area. There's also an awesome hot tub. This resort is not short on amazing dining options. Bella Napoli Pizzeria is always our go-to lunch spot. Nothing says comfort food better than a warm slice of brick oven pizza made fresh daily. The Mariner Seaside Bar and Grill is beachside and close to the main pool. It offers amazing grilled food and a fun atmosphere. The Piano Bar is the central hub bar and is easily accessible to most restaurants, making it the perfect place for a pre or post dinner drink. It also has a beautiful lounge with a gorgeous piano. Spices is the main buffet. For breakfast, the buffet offers a large array of hot items such as eggs, bacon, sausage, and pre-made sandwiches and wraps. It also includes made-to-order items such as omelets. There's plenty of fresh fruit and cold items such as cereal, muffins, and danishes. We are eating at Spices, the buffet for breakfast. So I got some fresh mango, scrambled eggs, Cajun potatoes, and a breakfast wrap with salsa. Spices serves a full buffet for both breakfast and lunch. And at dinner, it transforms into a sit-down restaurant with amazing pan-Caribbean food. The Bombay Club is the go-to place for scenic views, great times, and exotic Indian fare. It has indoor and outdoor seating. Le Jardinier, which is French for the garden, is a step into the French countryside. The chefs here have embodied the French cuisine, allowing guests to escape into a French paradise while in paradise. 
In Italy, the kitchen table, or la tavola, is the center of family life. At La Tavola, everything is made fresh, and it brings a little taste of Italy to the Caribbean. Cricketeers Pub is a traditional British pub and a fun hangout. Expect traditional British fare, ask for a pint, and enjoy a step into the British public house tradition. The newly renovated Caribbean Village is the ultimate in relaxation. Set apart from the rest of the resort, guests who are wanting a more private experience will love these updated rooms with their own pool area, the South Pool. In addition, there are swim-up rooms in this area providing the ultimate romantic experience. The Crystal Lagoon Village is home to the gorgeous Crystal Lagoon Pool, which you can step into from your beautiful swim-up room. With rooms on the first, second, or third floors, the Crystal Lagoon Village creates a unique, one-of-a-kind experience. Rooms in this area range in pricing and experience. There are butler experiences in this area, but not all the rooms will have that option. As a side note, I will always recommend the butler experience to anyone who wants an above and beyond vacation. Kensington Cove Village is located on the far side of the resort. I will add the resort is not too big, so nothing is a far walk from anything else. This area has its own pool and is beachfront. The best part of this area to us was the quieter pool area and the easy access to the beach. Our room was in this building. Our category was HB, the Kensington Cove Honeymoon Beachfront Club Level Room and you can see a full room tour in our recommended videos. As we move into the Royal Sanctuary Village and Beachfront Village, we will take a walk along the beach. Both of these villages are beachfront and offer easy access to the beautiful Caribbean Sea. There are some beautiful day beds where you can relax right on the water. I love the little touches such as the hammocks in the water and there's even swings on the water too. The gazebos are for the private evening dinners. Sandals offers private personalized dining right on the water for just you and your partner for just a small extra fee. It is the perfect touch for your perfect trip. Since the beach is not as big here as it is in most Sandals resorts, they've done a great job of not limiting any experiences. Every water sport imaginable is included along with top-of-the-line equipment and professional instruction. Just when you think you've seen it all, it's time for us to board a beautiful dragon boat to take us over to Sandals Island, the private island that's exclusive to Sandals Royal Caribbean guests. We have just taken a quick five minute ride on a boat shuttle over to Sandals Royal Caribbean's private island. Yes, you heard me correctly. There is another island here just for Sandals guests and we are gonna go check it out. Oh, and don't forget what's over here are the beautiful, amazing, over the water bungalows. Yes, that is not just in the South Pacific. It is right here in the Caribbean with Sandals and they are stunning. So we're over at Sandals Private Island called Sandals Key. It was created over thousands of years of coral nurturing. The island only became truly visible after a powerful hurricane on October 5th, 1852. And it swept through the region and Kokomo Island, as it was previously known, was formed. The years that followed the island began to flourish with vegetation of wild weeds and torchwood trees. The island was never inhabited, but a favorite fishing and hunting ground with local fishermen for octopus and clams. In 1984, Sandals Resorts began to develop the two and a half acre offshore getaway into a lush tropical slice of paradise. Relax and soak up this magical blend of indigenous old Jamaica touched with the flavor of the Orient. Now that is a cool story. As soon as you walk onto the island, you will see the bar and pool area to your right. 
It's good to note that since there is only one major pool at the main resort, there is another pool with a pool bar here on Sandals Island. Smack dab in the middle of the island is the Jerk Shack, which has the very best in jerk, which is a cooking style native to Jamaica, where meats are rubbed or marinated with a spicy mixture that contains allspice and fiery scotch bonnet peppers. It is truly delicious and a must-have while in Jamaica. It's such a beautiful view back onto the mainland where you can see the extensive and beautiful Royal Caribbean Resort. The island also has an extension of Red Lane Spa where you can even get massages on the beach. For the more adventurous guests, there is a clothing optional area on the island as well. We are eating tonight at Royal Thai, which is over on the private island here at Sandals Royal Caribbean. Royal Thai offers unique, exotic flavors that are sure to delight all your taste buds. From the atmosphere of the open air restaurant, beautiful scenery, and incredible food, your experience at Royal Thai will be unforgettable. We just finished an amazing dinner at Royal Thai over here at the private island at Sandals Royal Caribbean. And it was amazing. It was extremely good food and we just really enjoyed. The atmosphere was perfect, being right on the water. Highly recommend that you eat here when you stay here. Sandals Island is absolutely stunning, but what makes it even better are the luxurious over-the-water bungalows. These bungalows are everything you picture when you picture an adventure across the world in the South Pacific. But they're right here in Jamaica. You get a completely private experience with a personal butler. You can swim in the sea and walk up the steps to your room. You truly never have to leave here. Some bungalows have a private pool and some do not. So be sure and let me know what your preference is before we book them. They are also hard to book. They are very popular and book up very quickly. If this is an experience you're interested in, you will want to plan your adventure here at least a year or so out so you can maximize your time in these incredible once-in-a-lifetime bungalows. Well, hope you've enjoyed this resort tour of Sandals Royal Caribbean set in Montego Bay, Jamaica. We absolutely love this resort for a lot of reasons. One being the amazing sea breezes. It's just a beautiful feeling in this resort. The private island is amazing and such a unique offering the over the water bungalows, which is just absolutely incredible. It's just an amazing resort altogether. Um, if you have been here before, tell me about it. Drop it in the comments. Where did you stay? What room type did you have? Did you stay in an over the water bungalow? Because I want to be your friend. And just let us know. And if you want a quote for this resort or any other Sandals resort, please visit ftjtravelbymonica.com and I'd be excited to help you with that. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will see you real soon.